hello to everyone and of course welcome to uh, Real Talk with Mystica. So anyway, I have been asked, ano daw talaga ang pinaglalaban ko? Kasi hindi naman daw ako taga ABS-CBN at hindi naman daw ako isa sa mga affected dapat na kailangan ako ay uh, gumawa ng uh, pakikipagsawsaw o kaya uh, magbigay ng kung ano naman yung aking pananaw o kung ano naman yung aking side in terms of this kind of issue, di ba? Tungkol sa pagbibigay ng renewal or hindi pagbibigay ng renewal uh, sa franchise ng ABS-CBN. Well, just like I said, sabihin man natin na kahit isa akong celebrity, kahit isa akong uh, naging bahagi din ng ABS-CBN, well, the mere fact that I'm also a Filipino citizen, so ang pinaglalaban ko po dito is mainly about my freedom of speech, my freedom of expression, and of course, freedom of the media, okay? So, hindi naman pwede na i-pawalang uh, bahala na lang natin yung ganon dahil po kung wala ng freedom of the press, well, we could say na wala na tayong karapatan uh, sa pamamahayag, okay? Katulad ng, uh, uh, I would say na kung i-compromise mismo ng government o kay ni Presidente Duterte, ang ating karapatan sa pamamahayag o kay ang ating uh, human rights or ang ating freedom of expression, Well, hindi naman pwede para sa akin yon At talagang lalaban at lalaban ako. This doesn't mean that I have uh, some grudge against uh, President Duterte. Kung ano man yung mga naging issue niya in terms of uh, dealing with the press o kaya with ABS-CBN per se. Dahil nga sa nagkaroon nga ng issue, just like what he was claiming na nagbigay daw siya ng 2.8 million in terms of their campaign ad just before the election pero kung yun man ang ginagamit niya ngayon para maghigante at para lahat ng mga affected katulad ng mga of course yung mga workers most especially and of course doon din sa mga celebrities who are really involved or who are really in contract with ABS-CBN natural sila yung number one na ma aaffectahan. So, ako naman bilang isang uh, celebrity din na nagiging talent din ng ABS-CBN for some period of time and of course most especially dito nga uh, when I really, I was really urging uh, some help from Coco Martin and of course with Provinciano and of course, you know, that's already ABS-CBN and they had granted my request as soon as possible by the time na ako ay humiling ng tulong. They were there in order to rest Excuse me. So, para sa akin naman, yung tinatawag na asan daw yung aking uh, utang na loob, well, that's what I can say about the utang na loob, okay? So, ngayon, it's, this is not about sa utang na loob ko, but this is about kung ano naman yung pananaw ko bilang isang uh, malayang Filipina uh, na ako naman ay gusto kong ihayag din kung ano yung pananaw ko at kung ano yung sa loobin ko or my sentiments in terms of kung sakali man na binigyan na lang nila talaga ng termination na ganung ganun na lang. Kasi as we know, ABS-CBN has been there for 65 years at itong nakaraang franchise nila, that's uh, for 25 years. And of course, you know, uh, nagamit nila yung kanilang uh, license uh, with, of course, with all the expectations na talagang wala naman talaga silang nilabag. And kung sakali man may naidagdag sila na hindi man naibi, uh, nai, uh, specify doon mismo sa kanilang kontrata, well, I am sure na magagawan naman talaga ng solution okay, resolution in terms of that. Kasi bakit ngayon lang sila umapela? Bakit ngayon lang talaga sila nagreklamo? Bakit ngayon lang sila pumutak-putak? ba diba? Kung talagang alam nila na ABS-CBN has been violating some rules. At based on kung ano man yung naisampa ng uh, uh, ng, uh, of course, Office of Solicitor General na si Kalida based on kung ano man yung mga isinampa niya. Well, as I can see and of course, as I have also reviewed kung ano yung contract, kung hindi man na-specify doon na, ano, kung na-specify man doon na ang, uh, ang owner and of course, ang uh, magiging uh, 
magmamanage o kaya kung sino yung mga in charge for example in in terms of managing the company ay talagang supposedly 100% Filipinos so it so happened na kumuha sila ng mga foreign investors but that doesn't mean that when you get some foreign investors and then automatically they own the company as well so iba naman yung yung meaning talaga ng investor lang at iba naman yung meaning ng owner lang and of course managers lang and of course what's been specified under contract is ang dapat na mag-own and dapat na mag-manage would be totally 100% na Filipinos. Well, yun naman, as you can see, ang mga nagmamanis and nag o naman, as you can see, are totally 100% Filipinos naman. At hindi rin na-specify doon talaga, wala naman talaga na-specify doon na, na uh, foreigners or foreign people are not allowed to invest. Wala naman na-specify doon eh, na they are not allowed to invest. So, meaning to say, kung doon man ay na-exaggerate o kaya ay um, may naidagdag na mga foreign investors, well, pwede naman nilang uh, gawan yan ng paraan later on if they are really going to consider also the fact na, well, pinagbigyan naman nila ang ABS-CBN for 25 years. And then, of course, kung kailan pa magkakaroon na ng termination o kay kailan pa magkakaroon na ng uh, uh, yung closure, for example, matatapos na eh, matatapos ng kanilang contract at renewal na, eh, bakit ngayon lang sila maglalagay ng limitation, okay? So, the only way in order to, uh, to resolve that would be if they're going to do make another another renewal for example another contract they have to make sure that they're going to specify yung parte na yun pwede naman nila idagdag eh di ba kaya nga tinatawag na there's always the revised penal code revised constitution so why can they make another revised contract revised franchise or whatever so kung ano yung nakasaan na na uh, mga specifications doon na nakalagay kailangan Kung kailangan talaga idagdag nila, why can't they do it? Kaysa ba naman yung kakasuan nila, yung ABS-CBN, well, in fact, they've been there uh, in service for 65 years and all of a sudden, kung kailan pa matatapos na yung contract nila for the last 25 years of franchise and then doon pa sisitain at doon pa sila kakasuhan. So, there's really something there, di ba? Parang, ma obviously, may naaamoy tayo na sandali lang, may pinaghuhugot ito, merong pinagmumulan ito. It's not really all about kung ano yung sinampa ng soldier, kundi this is about a personal reason. This is about a personal na... Uh, katulad ng sinabi ng president na we, you will never, you will never get a chance even if I'm going to die. Parang ganun nga yung nasabi na niya. But for sure, kung talaga naman na ang uh, ating gobyerno, for example, let's say kung ang Congress is the one, uh, it is the uh, the body that is responsible in giving uh, another franchise, for example. Well, they should have to understand na Kung yun lang ang basehan nila para mapawalang bisa na completely ang company na to at mawalan na totally tayo ng ABS-CBN or Kapamilya, then that would be the worst decision that they could ever make in history. And of course, kung sakali man na talagang like what Duterte said na kung sakali man na ano, magre-renew, magre-renew ang ABS si Bernanan over my dead body, parang ganun nga eh. over my dead body, I'm not going to allow or whatever well, if that's going to happen dahil uh, mas mas uh, in-exercise niya yung kanyang pagka-powerful pero yun ang magiging history ng Pilipinas by the time na si President Duterte took his presidency and before he had finished his term and then all of a sudden ganito ang ginawa no? it will not be a great sample it will not be a great memory at all so kung ikaw man ay mag uh, iiwan ng uh, yung um, yung uh, memory for example as a legend in terms of your presidency sana naman may isip naman ng ating ama ng Pilipinas na if he ever finishes his term, sana na mag-iiwan siya ng magandang alaala. Yun lang ang, uh, ang pakiusap ko sana. Dahil, of course, from the start, just like I said, kung nakapagsalita man ako ng against him before, and then, of course, I went there in order to uh, to change 
kung ano man yung pananaw ko sa kanya. And I have maintained that until now. I still have the respect for him in terms of his bravery, in terms of kung ano man yung power na ginamit niya in terms of pakikipag uh, sa gupa doon sa mga... Uh, nakaraan sa Marawi and of course pagdating dito sa mga drug addict, drug pushers or ano so laban sa mga droga so I mean I really salute him kahit ngayon I really salute him because he has done his job and it was really a job well done hindi man perfect kung ano yung uh, nagawa niya marami mang mga tao na na-sacrifice na kompromiso, na iperwiso but because of his analogy na hindi na baling isacrifice niya a few people rather than isacrifice ang kapakanan ng buong Pilipinas. Well, sana naman, I'm urging the President, sana naman gamitin din niya yung ganong prinsipyo in terms of mawawalan naman ng trabaho itong mga, uh, mga nagtatrabaho sa ABS-CBN. Mawawalan naman ng trabaho kung sino-sino yung mga contract artist nila. I'm not a contract artist, pero kahit pa paano naman nakakatuling pa rin ang ABS-CBN in terms of my career. And of course, kung ano-ano man yung mga tao na nakikinabang din naman for so, for how many years na talagang ang kapamilya ABS-CBN ay nagdulot sa kanila ng kasiyahan. And of course, most especially nagdulot talaga sa kanila ng mahalagang informasyon, not only in the Philippines but throughout the world. So sana naman maisip din ng ating presidente kasi I'm sure that he has the power over the Senate, he has the power over the uh, um, Solicitor General, and of course he has the power over the Congress, he has the power over kung saan saan man yung mga different angulo ng ating gobyerno ngayon, I am sure that he's got all that power kung yun man ay paiirali niya. But, eto lang sana, sana bago mawala ang ating President Duterte sa kanyang termino, I am sure naman na maiisip din niya isang araw na he would rather live a great legacy. Yung magandang alaala na masasabi namin na hindi kami nagkamali na si President Duterte ang ibinoto namin. Hindi kami nagkamali na si President Duterte ang hinangaan namin. At hindi rin kami nagkamali na siya yung sinuportahan namin. Well, granted nga na he didn't get what he wanted at the time dahil inakala niya na ABS-CBN would really treat him like anybody else na wala talagang kinikilingan, di ba? Walang uh, katulad kung ano man yung na-experience I don't need to elaborate further kasi na-explain naman niya throughout Uh, throughout the world already kung bakit naghihinanakit siya until now. And I really feel him. I mean, I didn't really lose my respect on that uh, on that part kasi natural. I feel his emotions towards that part kasi kung ganun din ang nangyari sa akin, of course, I would really show also my my uh, my greatest disappointment and of course my greatest statement na talagang hindi talaga pwedeng baliwalain yon and I really really cannot blame him for doing so hanggang ngayon ganun pa rin yung kanyang feeling towards them pero sana naman intindihin din natin na, na sometimes We have to compromise a lot of other things as well para rin sa mga kababayan natin. Na we understand because of his emotion, we understand that he wasn't really treated the way he was expected dahil nga sa meron naman kasi tayong freedom to choose kung sino talaga yung dapat nating panigan in terms of kung sino yung gusto nating ilagay sa position bilang presidente or any other position in the country na nakalaan doon sa mga tao na alam ng lahat ay eh, talagang mas deserving kung sino man yung gusto nilang uh, ilagay sa pwesto. So, uh, on the other side of the coin then, ako naman ay, eh, uh, hindi naman ako pumapanig kung sakali man na talagang tatanggalan na rin ng freedom of expression, tatanggalan na rin ng freedom of the press in order to justify naman kung ano yung 
talagang gusto talaga nila na, na iboboto or kung sino yung sasaydan nila. Katulad din naman sa government eh, of all the government officials, hindi naman talaga nagkakaisa na iisang partido lang yan, di ba? Ha? Huh? All the government uh, officials, they really belong to their own space. They really belong to their own partido. So, hindi mawawala yon. So, hindi naman nangangahulugan na kahit si President Duterte ang nanalo, hindi naman pwedeng persahin yung mga iba na bumoto rin kina Grace po, kina kung sino-sino pa yung mga iba't ibang na ilagay sa kanilang pwesto in the Senate and of course sa Congress or kung sino-sino yung mga na ilagay sa kanilang mga posisyon. in terms of sa lahat ng mga uh, government officials right now. Hindi naman pwedeng kontrolin din. So, bakit kami kokontrolin din, di ba? Malaya ang mga nasa gobyerno noon kung sino yung panig papanigan nila bilang presidente. So, dapat din, ganun din ang ibibigay na kalayaan sa amin bilang mga ordinary people. At ganun din dapat ang ibibigay nilang kalayaan pagdating sa mga press people. Kasi lahat ng mga yan ay talagang nag din kayo ng mga boto nila. Okay? Boto namin, boto nila. So, everybody has the right to choose. Everybody has the right to vote. So, everybody has uh, should have the right also to express kung ano man yung pananaw nila in terms of kung sino yung gusto nilang asup uh, portahan di ba so kung ano man yung mag, yung ginawa ng ABS-CBN na hindi paglathala hindi pag uh, pag air kung ano yung ad ni uh, ni President Duterte at that time well i'm sure naman that they're going to give out their reasons later on and i have no right in order to justify kung ano man yon sila lang ang pwedeng magjustify para sa kanila because they know really well kung ano yung kanilang explanations kung ano yung kanilang reasons and i am not not in a position to judge them, okay? Pero, based naman doon sa mga naisampa ng, uh, ng ating uh, Solicitor General na si Kalida, doon lang tayo mag-base kung ano yung mga isinampa niyang mga kaso. So, as I can see naman about doon sa uh, pag, uh, pagkakaroon nila ng pay-per-view, which is not really Uh, it wasn't really specified kung ano yung naging kontrata nila. Well, wala rin naman na specified doon na bawal ang magkaroon ng pay-per-view. ba? Diba? Kung wala doon, for example, ang na-specify na, okay, this will include yung pagkakaroon ng pay-per-view. Kung wala man doon, well, andun na tayo eh. Pero wala namang naibanggit doon na bawal ang magkaroon ng pay-per-view. Ganun din sa pagkakaroon ng investors. Di ba ang nakaspecify lang doon is kailangan na ang mga pwedeng mag-manage and mag-own lang ay 100% Filipino. Pero wala namang nakaspecify doon na bawal ang mga foreigners na mag-invest. Di ba? Kung nakalagay sana doon mismo na bawal ang mga foreigners na mag-invest, well, at least, andun sana masasabi natin na may nilabag sila. Pero ang nakalagay lang doon is, 100% Filipinos should own and manage the cable company. Oh, I mean, the, the media company, the publishing company. So, yun lang ang naka-specify doon. ba? Diba? Wala naman siyang sinabi na bawal ang mga foreign people or foreigners to invest. Oh, so meaning to say, kung 100% Filipinos lang ang entitled na magkakaroon ng management o kaya magkakaroon ng ownership, meaning to say, uh, automatically specified na bawal ang foreigner as owners. Pero walang na-specify na bawal ang mga foreigners as investors because investors are totally different to owners. Okay? Investors are totally different to owners. Katulad niya, nag-invest ako ng mahogany trees through Better Globe. But that doesn't mean that I own Better Globe in Kenya. But I am one of those investors. So meaning to say, I am just investing my money, but I don't own the company. So, ganun din ang ibig sabihin dito sa mga foreigners who are really uh, involved dito sa business ng ating ABS-CBN. And one thing for sure is, we always encourage every investor, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga foreign investors, to come to the Philippines in order to invest 
para na makakatulong sila sa ating ekonomiya. And we cannot deny the fact that they are the number one right now who are really contributing a lot of money to the Philippines in terms of our economy. ba? Diba? Nagbabayad din naman talaga sila kung ano yung dapat bayaran. And of course, ang ABS-CBN, as what we have research, ang ABS-CBN, wala naman silang penalty or wala naman talaga silang nilabag in terms of paying ang kanilang taxes. Because according to the mayor of uh, Quezon City, Belmonte, according to her, the ABS-CBN has been the number one taxpayer also in Quezon City and at the same time wala rin namang nasabi ang BIR na may pagkukulang o kaya may hindi nabayaran ng ABS-CBN in terms of their tax. So, kung ano man yung mga dapat gawin ng ating Congress which is they are the ones who are really uh, being uh, given the authority in order to give kung ano yung magigit decision nila or magiging uh, renewal of franchise ng uh, ABS-CBN if they are the ones talaga na na-assign in order to give the renewal of franchise well, sana naman, intindihin din nila na kung kinakailangan na idagdag ang mga yon para na rin tayong naglagay ng revised penal code or revised constitution because Of course, kailangan eh, kung ano man yung mga kulang, o kaya'y idadagdag, o kaya'y tatanggalin, kung ano man yung nilabag, for example, na akala nila nilabag, pero because they were not really specified there, para masabing they really had violated all those, kung ano man yung ibinibintang, o kaya kung ano man yung isinasampal, o kaya'y uh, ibinabato na ngayon sa ABS-CBN, well, I am sure that they can really resolve all these problems as soon as possible. At hindi na kinakailangan pang magantay ng 2 years or 3 years. Kasi that's gonna be another, another issue na naman eh. Diba? Kasi pag ganun naman, for example, uh, the term, terminated na yung contract nila kasi natapos na eh. Diba? Naglapse na yung contract. Meaning to say, it's been already there. Natapos na. Na-expire na. So, kung pinabayaan nila na ma-extend pa, na wala pang, wala pa talaga yung uh, naibigay talaga na contract o kaya naibigay na, na renewal of contract na wala talaga in written Well, of course, that's gonna be a big question also on our part. Kasi, para rin sa amin, for example, e paano kung meron kaming driver's license? Kung nasabing expire, pagkataw sasabihin namin, well, binigyan ng, uh, ng uh, extension yung ABS-CBN ng 2 years or 3 years, well, they're still operating. So, why can't we apply the same kind of system? Why can't we, okay, why can't we apply uh, with the same kind of principle? Diba? So, that's gonna be a great example. Kaya, hindi dapat i-prolong, hindi na kailangan. Dapat pa na patagalin yung pagbibigay. Because this is just a matter of a very, very uh, simple analogy. Diba? Napakasimple lang naman kung tutuusin eh. Kasi talaga naman wala akong nakikita talaga na big violation doon. Kung meron mang pagkukulang, meron din pagkukulang talaga yung kontrata. Kasi hindi naman talaga naka-specify na bawal ang foreigner para mag-invest. Walang naka-specify doon eh. Nilagay lang talaga na ang owner at ang manager lang should be 100% Filipino, whatever. So, iba yung investor, iba ang ownership, iba ang management. So, ganun din, it applies with the other. Kung ano pa yung mga ibang nakalagay doon sa wara, ano yung, yung co-waranto. Diba? Co-waranto co ay para lang doon sa mga akala nila na talagang they have to make sure na i-apply yung petition na yun because they think na that person or that business doesn't deserve to what it should be given to them. For example, kung tao sana, kung si Corona, meaning to say, he was... He was issued a co-waranto uh, petition because of the fact that they thought that he really deserve he did really deserve the job because maraming ang mga pagkakamali, maraming ang pagkukulang. Meaning to say, his job wasn't really that uh, that you know. Uh, ano mean, uh, ang tawag dito? 
satisfactory. His job wasn't really satisfactory. So, ganun din ang isang kumpanyo, for example. Meaning to say, hindi satisfied ang gobyerno in terms of kung ano yung ibinibigay nila na supposedly yun ang expectation because of the contract that's being signed. Pero hindi naman ganun eh. So, it's been 25 years since that uh, that license has been issued to ABS-CBN. So, kung ngayon pa lang talaga nila bibigyan ng pansin at bibigyan talaga sila ng mga kung ano-anong butas para maipasara o kaya para mabigyan talaga ng sinasabi nilang kaso, well, I don't think that would be really, really something that we can honor being the ordinary Filipino citizen. Kasi iba na ang iisipin namin. Parang ginawan na lang talaga nilang butas para mapatalsik ito because they thought that ABS-CBN is a bias for, for uh, in terms of kung ano yung pananaw nila. Well, nandun na tayo. But we cannot blame a certain company, we cannot blame a certain uh, broadcasting company because they always fight for the fact that the government has been given a law that gives freedom of the press in order to express kung ano man yung kanilang pananaw. And the same thing as we, ordinary Filipino citizen, we were given the, the, uh, the freedom in order to express also our human rights and at the same time, our freedom to speak kung ano man yung mga pananaw din namin at kung sino man yung mga susuportahan namin at kung sino man yung mga kailangan din namin tapikin kung meron silang mga pagkakamali rin na nakikita namin na sandali lang hindi na tama ito. It doesn't mean na kung nandyan kayo in your position, nandyan kayo sa inyong mga trono ay eh, talagang uh, luluran na namin kayo katulad ng pagluhod namin sa ating poong may kapal. Remember, you were not there because you are God. You were there in order to lead us in a way na yung gagawin ninyo para sa amin is in order to protect and of course, instill you have the you have the job in order to give us feelings na talagang kami ay satisfied in terms of your position and in terms of what has offered to you as your job to protect and serve us.